Historic Golden Gate is the entrance from the Pacific Ocean to the San Francisco Bay. It is now spanned by the longest suspension bridge in the world. Here in one of the world's largest landlocked harbors, dock the ships of the seven seas. Pleasure boats, too, break out their white sails and run down the wind. Alcatraz, a grim federal prison, is built on a rock jutting up from the center of the bay. Coit Memorial Tower tops historic Telegraph Hill, where for years the arrivals and sailings of ships were watched and reported. The seven hills of the city look down on the bay, and beyond is a gigantic new bridge, over eight miles long, that joins San Francisco with the East Bay cities, a monument to the vision and skill of man. This colossal structure tunnels through Yerba Buena Island and crosses the largest navigable body of water yet spanned. To the west lies the center of the great city, rich in history, but progressive and modern today, a dominant financial and commercial metropolis of the west. At the foot of Market Street is a big ferry terminal. Its tall tower long a famous landmark that can be seen for miles around. From high on Twin Peaks, the beautiful view of the city gives one an idea of its expanse and its many tall buildings on high hills. Market Street is a main business thoroughfare so wide that it has four car tracks. It extends diagonally across the city from the ferry terminal out to the Twin Peaks. With its smart shops and theaters, it is a great white way. All about the city, there are many sidewalk flower stands, attractively displaying their colorful and fragrant blooms. Garden spots as lovely as the flower markets of the old world, and everyone buys cut flowers and bouquets the year round. The center of downtown San Francisco is at Market, Carney, and Gary Streets. Here stands the fountain presented to the city in 1875 by Lotta Crabtree, beloved actress of the Sierras. Facing Union Square, where uptown and downtown merge, is the St. Francis Hotel, and in the lovely palm-shaded square, the Dewey Memorial Monument. Some of the streets are so steep that the cars must be run on cables. They're revolved about by the motorman and conductor at the Avenue Terminal on a turntable. A quaint sight indeed. Yes, sir, in San Francisco, hills are hills, and motorists and their brakes must both be good for safe driving as up and down they go. The magnificent new Civic Center includes the Exposition Auditorium, the War Memorial Opera House, and the Veterans Building. The massive City Hall is an impressive building. Its dome is nearly as high as that of the Capitol at Washington. Because of the nearness to the sea, gulls, not pigeons, are the pets of the plaza grounds. The Exposition Auditorium and many other great buildings form an inspiring group about a flower-studded plaza. The new United States Mint is a building of modernistic lines, a distinctive structure appropriate for its purpose. In its well-guarded vaults are stored millions in gold bullion and silver bars. Frequently the passers-by stop to watch the careful transfer of precious metal. Great quantities are received and Uncle Sam takes no chances. It is handled with military discipline. Here are minted the copper, nickel, gold and silver coins for the Pacific Coast, the adjoining western states and the Philippines. Ingenious machines stamp, weigh, and count coins of all denominations, tons of them in a year. Chinatown, the largest oriental city in the Occident. In its little park stands the new steel statue of Sun Yat-sen, the father of new China. The streets are lined with pagodas, joss houses, ancient shrines, bazaars, and cafes. Here are silks and incense, teak wood and ivory, and a soft-spoken people slowly move about their work and play, still maintaining all the traditions of the Far East.
frequent fantastic ceremonies celebrate holidays of old China in the traditional manner. On New Year's Day, all debts are paid and offerings made at the temple by young and old and rich and poor as they file by the altar of Buddha and generously give. There is news from across the Pacific posted every day on the bulletin of the Chinese journals. Not good news today. With native mannequins, a modern fashion show displays the latest styles as well as the ornate ancient costumes worn for centuries in old Cathay. These young ladies dress as well as their sisters of the Western world, and sometimes more picturesquely. Colorful Fisherman's Wharf is like the docks at Old Naples. The fish dinner on the wharf is long remembered as an unusual treat. Swarthy fishermen mend their nets and prepare to sail out to sea. They will bring back a big catch, luscious seafoods of the deep Pacific. Cracked crabs are but one of the many famous delicacies served here. On the site of the Panama Pacific Exposition of 1915, there are still standing and used some of the most beautiful buildings, monuments of the good taste of the last generation. San Francisco's most historic building is Mission Dolores, founded by Spanish monks in 1776. Many unusual relics are seen here from the days when California was ruled by Spain and Mexico. Golden Gate Park is the largest man-made park in the world. The de Young Memorial Museum houses many precious exhibits of paintings and statuary. Beautiful buildings and monuments set in a garden spot of over a thousand acres. Winding drives run from the city center to the sea. A singing waterfall in the heart of the park makes the city seem far away. It is easily reached by smooth, picturesque roadways that lead from many entrances. Bridal paths lure the horsemen and horsewomen too. Rolling sheep pastures suggest rest and quiet. Exotic blooms of every land grow well in the botanical gardens. Buffalo graze peacefully, reminiscent of the great herds that roam the prairies and plains of the early west. These drives seem far away from the city's well. Golf is played almost in the shadow of the Golden Gate, and some of the finest courses that golfers know are within the boundaries of the city and easily reached. Directly overlooking the Golden Gate is the impressive California Palace of the Legion of Honor. High on the Pacific shore stands the Cliff House, a noted landmark since before the Civil War. The broad windows look out on the rolling ocean, the harbor forts, and the famous seal rocks. There are hundreds of seals here, and they play in the foamy spray and breaking waves. The esplanade skirts the wide beaches of the sparkling Pacific shore, a charming drive along the sea leading to the coast highways beyond. And the old Dutch windmill waves its big arm in welcome or adieu to ships in the great harbor. San Francisco by the Golden Gate, city of fond memories and visions of progress for tomorrow.